And some people think this trial is a contest of lawyers, or even worse, a competition between political parties. It's neither. It's a moment of truth for America. The evidence will show you that ex-President Trump was no innocent bystander. The evidence will show that he clearly incited the January 6th insurrection. It will show that Donald Trump surrendered his role as commander-in-chief and became the inciter-in-chief of a dangerous insurrection. President Trump whipped the crowd into a frenzy, exhorting followers, if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. And then he aimed straight at the Capitol, declaring, you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. He told them to fight like hell and they brought us hell on that day. Now, some have said that President Trump's remarks, his speech on January 6th, was just a speech. Well, let me ask you this. When in our history has a speech led thousands of people to storm our nation's capital with weapons, to scale the walls, break windows, kill a Capitol police officer? This was not just a speech. The President of the United States said, quote, there won't be a transition of power. There'll be a continuation. President Trump was given every opportunity to tell his supporters, yes, if I lose, I will peacefully transfer power to the next president. Instead, he told his supporters the only way he could lose the election is if it was stolen. In tweet after tweet, he made sweeping allegations about election fraud that couldn't possibly be true. But that was the point. He didn't care if the claims were true. He wanted to make sure that his supporters were angry, like the election was being ripped away from them. In mid-December, President Trump announced the release of ads, including ones entitled, The Evidence is Overwhelming, Fraud, Stop the Steal. He spent $50 million from his legal defense fund on these ads to stop the steal and amplify his message. These ads were designed to run all the way up to January 5. And then they stopped. This was purposeful and deliberate planning to target his base to rally around that day. The truth is usually seen and rarely heard. Truth is truth, whether denied or not. And the truth is, President Trump had spent months calling his supporters to a march on a specific day, at a specific time, in specific places, to stop the certification. And leading up to the event, there were hundreds, hundreds of posts online showing that his supporters took this as a call to arms to attack the Capitol. I stood with colleagues in the gallery above the House floor to observe the Arizona challenge. Moments later, police radios reported a breach of the Capitol grounds. Someone shouted up to us, duck, then lie down, then ready your gas masks. Shortly after, there was a terrifying banging on the chamber doors. I will never forget that sound. Shouts and panicked calls to my husband and to my sons, instructions to flee, and then the constant whirring of the gas masks filtering the air. The chamber of the United States House of Representatives turned to chaos. He did not once condemn the attackers. In fact, on January 6th, the only person he condemned was his own vice president, Mike Pence, who was hiding in this building with his family in fear for his life. In the first crucial hours 
this violent attack. He did nothing to stop it, nothing to help us. By all accounts, from the people that were around him, he was delighted. We will, of course, each of us, remember that day forever, but not in the way that President Trump intended. Not because of the actions of these violent, unpatriotic insurrectionists. I'll remember this day, that day forever, because despite President Trump's vicious attempts throughout the day to encourage the siege, and block the certification. He failed. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.